For those who want the latest, greatest, and fastest, we're also working on our next generation Pixel 7 phones. Here's a first look at the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. You can see that we've extended the aluminum finish to the entire camera bar for the next evolution of the Pixel design language. So at the 2022 Google I.O. event, Google showcased and showed off the Pixel 7 and a Pixel 7 Pro that's coming out later on this year. Was it a good move or bad move by Google? Would this stop people from buying the Google Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro? Did Google just kill the Pixel 6 lineup? Let me give you my thoughts about this. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. And the gorgeous Pixel 7 Pro in its triple camera system sets a completely new standard for photography, performance, and design. I really love the contrast of the different materials and the simplicity of the design. The polished aluminum looks beautiful with the glass in the back of the phone. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this was a strange one. At the Google I.O. 2022 conference, they showed off the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro months before the release with its new beautiful hardware and the next generation Tensor chip. And you know what, that Tensor chip second generation will probably be on par with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor that's in our current devices of 2022. Plus the next generation cameras and camera software and also Android 13. So that's some of the information that they told us here at Google I.O. So here's my thoughts. On one hand, I see Google is trying to stop the leaks and false narratives. So no one will guess how the phone will look. So they just showed off the complete lineup for 2022. But where I believe Google will hurt themselves by showing off the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro early is if you was thinking of buying the Pixel 6 at $599 or the Pixel 6 Pro at $899, now you can wait a few months to get the newer Pixel 7 and newer Pixel 7 Pro after seeing the whole lineup. Look, I know every year we get a newer device, but you know what? Over the course of the year, the hype is built up to the next generation device and not knowing and not seeing what the company has in store. So we get all hyped up not knowing what the company will release, right? But now we know everything about the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro kind of sorta, right? We know the design, we know the software that is gonna be running, we know the build quality, we know the colors and everything else in between. So are you willing to drop you know, 900 plus dollars on the Pixel 6 Pro, knowing that the Pixel 7 is probably gonna cost about the same and we're not getting any price drops right now on the Pixel 6. So that's a strange one to me. So smartphones is the centerpiece of everyone's lives. We carry these items with us at all times. So you need the ultimate protection to keep it safe if you drop it or if it fall accidentally. Well, today's sponsor, Caseborn, formerly known as Armadella Tech, may have the answer for you. For years now, I've been using their cases on my devices and it's been really good. And having a peace of mind knowing that if you drop your device, it's fully protected. Now, Caseborn comes in a variety of protection from 12 feet drop protection to military grade protection up to 21 feet. I will leave all product links down in the description below. But if you go on the website and at checkout, if you put the code word Tech Preacher, we will give you additional 10% off at checkout. Check out the cool deals at caseborn.com. I will leave all the product links down in the description below. Now, when the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro came out, right, it was a bumpy start. It had a bit of software issues that were resolved months later. Look, I do understand that Google was using a brand new processor and it was going through trial and error. We had some issues with software when the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro came out and a lot of people was a little upset, but you know, months passed with software updates, it got fixed. 
So I believe when the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro get released, uh, it'll be a whole lot better rollout with solid software optimization with Android 13. I think it's gonna be a whole lot better. So the question is, are you willing to buy a Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro at $600 and $900 right now? Because we see no price drops currently as of me recording this video. Or you just wait, hold off a bit until the next generation Pixel come out. That's gonna be interesting. Look, I wanna hear from you guys. Did Google just killed off their own devices by showcasing off their newer devices months early? Think about it, if you wanted to buy a new Pixel, would you spend 900 plus dollars on a Pixel 6 Pro knowing you could save your money for a few months and get the latest and greatest software and hardware? Hmm, let's have a discussion about it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about it, right? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Let's have some fun in the comments. Did Google just killed off their Pixel 6 lineup? Now we know that we got the Pixel 6a coming out, right? But you know, most people that's looking for that upper tier flagship, right? We know that the Pixel 6a is gonna be a great device, but you want the best of the best. That means that you're going from the Pixel 6 Pro to a Pixel 7 Pro, right? And you just saw the Pixel 7 Pro in rare form. So which, are you willing to drop 900 plus dollars a couple of months before the new Pixel 7 comes out? Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a discussion. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.